few snow bunnies coming. Hold on, let's see what's going on. I'm gonna let you get on them, baby. You get on them. You get on them. Watch it. Watch baby get on What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're going to look at alpha male strategies, otherwise known as AMS, and we're going to see what kind of dating and pickup skills he exhibits. Okay, this guy is a wildly popular channel. Uh, if we look at his, his YouTube here, we have 87 million views, okay, which is actually very impressive. That's a fuck ton of views um, in just a little over four years here. Okay, so he's making all kinds of videos about dating advice. Okay, again, doesn't show receipts, doesn't show infields, etc. And as I've talked about extensively in some recent videos, I have more proof than the entire rest of the industry combined. Okay, in terms of showing uh, tons, thousands of pictures with girls, including many in hookup situations, uh, hundreds of hours of infield. And AMS finally went to demonstrate his skills and had an epic fail. So we're going to, to look at that and hear some funny commentary. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell to be alerted of new videos every day, all year long. Okay, providing straightforward, no bullshit, practical dating advice. And also, if you want to master the game very quickly, please jump on a free 30 minute call, either with me or one of my coaches. We'll go over exactly how we can help you and uh, allow you to optimize and advance your game to an extreme level. Okay, most guys are doing one to two new closes a week, going on to do 50 to 100 girls a year, and putting about one new rotation going on per week as well. So don't delay, click the link in the description for that. So let's just jump right into this clip here. We'll roll this clip. Uh, basically, he was out on the street, he was like on a live, and he obviously fucked up because he pussied the fuck out when it was time to approach. But let's take a look and, and see how this goes here. See AMS get some snow bunnies. I tell y'all what. I tell y'all what. The next, the next bad bitch y'all see me, I'm gonna get at. I'll tell y'all what. The next bad bitch I see, I'm gonna get at. Some snow bunnies. He always starts off his videos. He's like, Bellas. If you wanna get some buns, right? All right, so let's see here. Let's see how he go, how he goes and gets the snow bunnies and how he how he hollers at them. All right, so he's talking up a big game. We're gonna we're gonna get some girls. He's being filmed. Okay, here comes some girls. We got a few snow bunnies coming. Hold on, let's see what's going. I'm gonna let you get on them, baby. You get on them. You get on them. Now he's telling his cameraman, "I'm gonna let you get on them. I'm gonna let you get on them." He, here he was just talking a big game. Hey, I'm gonna approach the next girls that come. Okay, keep in mind that the, if you're not familiar with my channel. I have over 14 or almost 14,000 phone numbers in my phone at this point. Okay? If we look at the the contacts here, 13,799 at the time of this recording. I've approached a few girls in my time. Okay, here he is trying to make his first demonstration of it, even though he's shown his audience nothing despite having 86 million views on the topic. Okay? And and let's take a look how he does here. He's trying to shovel them off to the cameraman. Watch it. Watch it. This one right here in the back doesn't do shit. Let's rewind. And then um, <laughs> I took I took this clip from some other dude making commentary, and the other dude goes off. And I'm just gonna let some of that play because it's kind of hilarious. But let's take a look here. Actually, let's start it from. Let's just so you can see he's pumping it all up. Ready? The next bad bitch I see me, I'm going to get it. I'll tell y'all what. Okay, so he's building it up. <laughs> Let's see how he how he handles this situation. I tell y'all guys what, we'll cut it back on if it gets lit back tonight. We're going we gonna to dip out right now. Hold on, hold on. We got, a, we got a few snow bunnies coming. Hold on. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to let you get on them, baby. You get on them. You get on them. Watch it. Watch me get on them. Oh, 
<laughs> they left their asses at home. Yeah, I know. They left their asses at home. Okay, doesn't fucking do shit. Now let's let's continue here. This commentary is pretty funny that comes in. The realest dude, you're too funny today, bro. What's your beef with AMS? Much love, bro. Thank you. It's no beef, nigga. It's not a beef. Now I'm saying AMX making phone calls, desperately <laughs> panicking. Cause that video makes you look like a fucking clown, nigga. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Fuck is this nigga talking about? <laughs> this nigga's bugging. <laughs> I'm gonna take it by any means. <laughs> Fuck is this nigga talking about? How many white girls walk by, nigga? How many other white girls walk by, nigga? And you still don't pull up. Look at you still don't pull up. All sad, rusty, and tarnished, nigga. Looking pathetic, nigga. All them bitches walk by, nigga, and you froze up like a bitch. <laughs> you froze up like a little hoe, nigga. You're supposed to be alpha. You're supposed to be that nigga. <laughs> this is like, it's so funny, like how many shitty role models there are in the community. It's like guys are like worshiping like Owen Cook, RSD Tyler, who's just this little fucking ultra beta redhead. Ultra, ultra beta. Like you guys don't understand the magnitude of how beta this guy is. He's beta than most of his, more beta than most of his clients. Okay. Just because he talks loud and says like, what we're going to talk about right now today is how you going to... That doesn't... <coughs> Fucking inciting a cough in my throat. That doesn't make him cool. That doesn't make him alpha. That sure as fuck does not make the girls pussies wet. They think he's a fucking weirdo. Okay, but you guys are like, oh my god. He's so cool. Then you have fucking Roll Tomasi, Skeletor and his, and his Skeletor fucking cracked out wife, okay? And it, with his guitars in the back, and he's going to go, and he's going to be like, hypergamy is... Right that. And it, but none of these guys are able to get hot chicks, okay? None of these guys show any proof ever. Here's an 86 million view count channel. He finally goes to do an approach on camera and pussies out. Let's let's continue with the rant here that this guy is <laughs> saying. It's pretty hilarious. And you froze up like a little thought. You bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> Where was that alpha shit then, my nigga? Where was that alpha energy then? When the bitches was walking by, nigga? Where were you then? <laughs> Where was all that tough talk then? Scared of some 120 pound white girls? My nigga, you scared of a 120 pound white girl? Fuck out of here, nigga. So you think I'm scared of you? Once these niggas get all types of subscribers, now they think they too good to talk to people. You niggas came up just like a lot of other people did. You started with zero subscribers, just like myself. That's that's the truth. But you niggas get a little big headed and forget what, what it took for you to get to that level that you at. And then you start shitting on people that helped you on the way. Well, guess what? When the people that y'all shitted on say, fuck you niggas for shitting, keep shitting on them. <laughs> and then y'all niggas get upset. Y'all niggas is a bunch of frogs, man. Bunch of fake ass niggas shitting on the same people that helped you. That's facts. <laughs> that sounds like the fucking fresh and fit podcast podcast <laughs> facts facts son real talk facts uh, i'll link my my uh myron pseudo alpha video at the end make sure to check that out if you have if you haven't seen that myron gains full fronting as an alpha badass and, and just being ultra cringe okay that's the thing. I, I always have said I have nothing to hide. I've reported the lay count since I had 100 back in 2012. I reported steadily almost across every video. Okay, and, and people that know me know that I take this game very seriously. I have hundreds of hours of infield to back my shit. Thousands of pictures, endless testimonials, etc. Okay, More proof than the whole rest of the industry. Then you have an 86 million uh, view count channel. Go to do an approach, freezes up, can't do it. Like a bitch. Okay? All that alpha shit. Where's that alpha shit at when the bitch is in front of your face? <laughs> Where's that shit at then? It's all placated on false image. And y'all niggas don't even live up to it. Yep. It's sad. Bro, it's not about betrayal, nigga. It's not about betrayal. If a nigga show you who he really is, believe him. Why is it that, that at the end of the day, man... I can, I, I'm expected to help niggas and I do, but then when I reach out for help, niggas act like they too good. 
And now niggas want to talk through middlemen and shit. Let's look at it one more time. This is fucking hilarious. Right. The next, the next bad bitch y'all see me, I'm gonna get it. Okay. <laughs> I tell y'all guys what, we'll cut it back on if it get lit back tonight. We gonna, we gonna dip out right now. Hold on, hold on, we got, a, we got a few snow bunnies coming. Hold on, let's see what's going. On. I'm gonna let you get on them, baby. You get on them. You get on them. Watch it. Watch baby get on. Yeah, so, I mean, the moral of the story is make some fucking infield demonstrating that you can pull on a whole bunch of occasions. I have over 100 demonstrations of that. Okay, I'm breaking them down for free on YouTube every Sunday at around 5 p.m. Eastern. Okay? Show buck tons of receipts. If you can, if you can do this stuff, if you're the master, if you're the man, fucking show it. Okay, for all the fucking coaches, don't don't show nothing. You're, you're supposed to be the master with women, right? So why are you guys mostly showing nothing? Why is everyone showing nothing? Okay, why is everyone marrying and and having girlfriends with girls below a five? Okay, they're not they're not even striving for above average. These are supposed to be the top gurus and the top dating masters in the fucking world. Okay, and they're gonna marry or have a girlfriend that's an objective three or an objective four. In some cases, even lower than a three. Okay, that was their end state of the game, and they're gonna try to justify that. Oh well, uh, you know the hot girls are all bitches. The hot girls don't make good wives. The hot girls aren't worth the time. That's because you can't get the hot girls. That's because the hot girls snub you. That's because never in a million years would a hot girl become your fucking girlfriend or wife. Okay, so keep fucking tricking your followers. All you red pill loser coaches, all you fucking PUA loser coaches, keep telling everyone how you're the man, how you used to just destroy, how you're so good, how you're world class. Show nothing, okay? Marry threes in secret. Threes. It's not even like we're, we're splitting hairs here. We're not like, yeah, that chick's like a 7-5. She should at least be a 9. Uh, that chick's only an 8. She should at least be a 9. No, threes, okay? Literally more unattractive then any guy that knows nothing about dating could get easily on any given day of his life, okay? So, it's all a fucking joke, okay? I'm going to make a video that's going to show how over the past 10 years, I've kept as a minimum look standard for any girlfriend or main rotation girl on 9 plus, okay? That's a simple fucking rule that I've adhered to for over a decade. In all these cities that I lived in around the world, my main rotation girl or my girlfriend if I had a girlfriend at that time, had to be at least a nine looks. She also had to be a whole bunch of other shit internally, okay? And usually closer to a nine five looks. But nine was the bare minimum standard. Okay? These guys don't even have a five as a bare minimum standard, okay? They're willing to sink down to a three, show nothing, and sink down to a three, okay? What do you think their receipts look like if their end goal or their end state that they checked out of the game at was a three? Okay, for Donovan Sharp, for Rolo Tomasi, for who else? Fucking Todd V, Todd V dating, his girl is fucking gross. Julian, RFC Julian married a gross girl. Uh, and it goes on and on and on and on. Okay, fucking, we just showed Charisma King's busted girl, Ryan Stone's fucking disgusting busted girl. And it goes on and on and on like this. And these guys are not even hitting a, a fucking standard average of a five, which would still be unacceptable. I think below a nine would be unacceptable. Maybe an 8-plus could be passable and it wouldn't be worth an attack. But none of them are at that level. I could go pull an 8-plus off the street right now because I have actual game. That's the fucking difference. You, can, you guys can call me a hater. You guys can call me a shit starter or, or say I'm jealous of other people's subs. I don't give a fuck about my subs. I never have. Okay? I call it straight like it is. I call these fuckers out for being stupid fuckers, having no place in this industry. And I've spoken to thousands of people that have followed these fuckers, that don't know what they're doing, that have no real expertise, that have no business in the space whatsoever, and have wasted shit tons of time, effort, and money. Lots of the guys are just giving up on women. They're like, fuck this. I already spent tens of thousands of dollars. It's because you're going to people that have not demonstrated they can help you. And it's, it's as simple as that. Okay, and this isn't, oh, don't buy their course, but buy mine. I don't ever try to sell anyone. When people get on those calls with me, those free 30-minute calls, I say the typical results in the program are one to two new lays per week, 50 to 100 girls a year. That's what the vast majority of the guys are getting. I say that 
Uh, most guys are putting out one new rotation girl on per week. I say, I'm going to teach you how to optimize every area of the game, move girls through with the best chances from open to close for the rest of your life. I'm going to permanently fix the problem so you don't need to do any fucking courses ever again. Okay? And it's that simple. I don't, and guys say, hey, what if I want to think about it? That's fine. Go think about it. Oh, you're not going to raise the price? You don't, I don't have a deadline? No. Oh, well, uh, okay. Uh, well, it's, there's no need to use stupid sales tactics or, or anything like this. And I don't even need to do this for the money. I already have plenty of money. I don't ever have to work again. I do this for fun. It's fun to optimizing each guy's system in turn. Okay, I can't really take mine much further. At the time of this recording, 1,362 girls. Okay, I keep exact track. And everyone's like, that number sounds fake. I've been reporting it ever since it was 100 back in 2012. And, it, and you see it was like a smooth exponential. And I've made, I've, I've made it over an hour long video showing all the proof I have for that. So the point is, is that if you want to keep fucking dicking around and getting your time and money and effort completely wasted, and in lots of cases going backwards, in lots of cases becoming a weirdo like RSD made you, in lots of cases becoming a woman hater or, or being resentful or confrontational against women like the red pill coaches made you, okay, or just totally hopeless like the black pill people are pushing. Oh, just give up. You have no, if you're not tall, if you're not a Chad, you're fucked. Okay, no, that's all bullshit. I have countless guys, okay, thousands of clients to come through, regardless of their looks. I get them very good at the game consistently. Okay, does that mean looks don't matter? Of course not. Of course looks matter. Okay, but they're not as big of the equation as people try to make them out to be. It's the icing on the cake, and it's mostly threshold things. Don't be like morbidly obese. Don't ignore basic hygiene. This this kind of things. So stop fucking bitching. Learn an optimized system. I put 15, 20 years of my fucking life into relentlessly optimizing this round the clock, okay? And I have hyper analytical abilities, which allowed me to master poker and chess and, I, and do very well with computer science and engineering and work on fucking nuclear missile defense for the U.S. government, okay? So I have the fucking keys to the castle. I have the fucking real solution and I show all the proof to back that. No one else shows anything. Here, here's your proof with AMS, 86 million views, okay? What does he do? I'm going to approach the next group of girls that comes. Doesn't do shit. Okay? So, you know, if you want to fucking master this game for real once and for all and be doing extremely well in as little as one to two weeks out from now, okay, it's literally that simple. You can have an influx of dates coming into your schedule, into your life as soon as next week. And that can continue for the entire rest of your life. Okay? And, it, and it's really that simple. You guys, how can it be that simple? I've tried everything. Well... I plug you into my optimized texting scripts and my optimized online messaging scripts. I optimize your online profile with you. We get the we go from average photos to pro photos to your top five ranked pro photos by my team of girls that ranks the photos to maxing out the aesthetics on those with face app and Photoshop. Now you have the best version of your pictures possible. I write your bio for you. Now you're getting a good quantity and quality of matches. You plug into my online messaging scripts, you get phone numbers. You plug into my text messaging scripts, you get dates. Now you're getting a whole stream of dates. We had a virgin not that long ago have seven dates on week two, and he, was, he, and he lost Virginia on day four. He wasn't really getting dates before the program, and he had taken six other training courses. No one helped him lose Virginia. No one helped him get dates. What a fucking surprise, okay? Because those guys can't get hot girls. Those guys can't even get above average girls most of the time. Look who they're marrying. Look who their girlfriends are. Look how they have zero receipts. Look how they have zero infield, Okay. It's, I'm trying to make a, a, a case throughout mo many of these different videos here that I am the best option. And, and this isn't like fucking self-promotion. It's just that if there was other people providing a bunch of infield and receipts, I'd say, okay, like I recommend this guy's channel too. I recommend this guy's channel. I wouldn't blast that guy. If that guy is showing evidence and he knew and it sounded like he knew what the fuck he was talking about as well on his videos and he was giving straightforward practical advice and not woo-woo nonsense then that guy's cool. The, the fact is, on YouTube, Playing With Fire Alex is really like the only guy that I see doing that in the dating community, okay? And I think Bulldog Mindset has some good stuff uh, on the fringe topics, you know, as, regarding being alpha and, and business and other things to get situated in life. Besides that, I don't really see much else. It's sad to say, okay? That doesn't mean that no one else is good at the game in the world. I know other guys that are very good at the game, but they don't have a YouTube presence. They're mostly in the underground community, okay? But if you want to master this, jump on a free 30-minute call, okay? The, uh, we're getting very low. I'm transitioning a lot of these calls over 
to the coaches but I'm uh, that I brought on but I'm gonna be taking uh, a bunch of them okay in the, for the for the very near future as we transition do not delay you will talk with me personally I'm gonna put my personal booking link okay do not delay I'll tell you how I can take and it's a free no obligation call I'm gonna show you how I can take you from wherever you're at to an advanced level extremely quickly jump on that free 30 minute call Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're an AMS fan, this is this looks pretty fucking terrible for him. Okay. And again, no receipts, no infield. Here, here's his one attempt. Failure. Okay. That's you should be skeptical. Rightfully so. Okay. Anyone can say anything on the camera. So also if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe below. And don't forget I have a YouTube live infield breakdown from start to finish for free. Okay, where you can ask questions as I break down a full length infield footage poll. And that will be at 5 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, okay? Sunday the 23rd. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.